So the question is, is this line, uh, DC, is that a tangent to, is it tangent to circle A? Right. Uh, we've got this line segment BC. That's part of this line here. Is that a tangent line? Is it tangent to A? So um, a tangent line will touch a circle at just one point. Um, and uh, a tangent line will also be perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So here's a radius of the circle. It's uh, eight units. If this is truly a, a, a tangent line, this should be perpendicular, meaning this forms a, a 90 degree angle. All right, well, um, what we can do is, so wh what we would like to do is prove that this is actually a right triangle. Um, uh, the radius um, plus this line segment plus the distance from this point to the center, uh, which is given as 17. If we can prove that this is a right triangle with the 90 degree angle here, then we've proved that this line is tangent to it, uh, tangent to the circle. So we can actually use this, the um, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem says uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared um, if if the triangle is a right triangle. Uh, well the converse would say if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Um, so let, let's see if, in fact, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm calling this a and this b. You could call this a and this b. Uh, the important thing is that the hypotenuse, or in this case, the proposed or pr prospective hypotenuse, the thing that we hope is the hypotenuse of a right triangle, um, that's c. Um, the other two sides are a and b. Um, all right, so if we can prove that a squared plus 15 squared is equal to 17 squared. Then indeed, um, triangle ACB would be a right triangle. Um, and that would show that this line is, is in fact tangent to circle A. So let's see, let's see if this is true. Uh, a squared is 64. What is 15 squared? Is that 225 or something? 15. Yeah, 225 equals 17 squared. Ah, oh, what is that? 3 something. I should have those memorized, maybe. I don't know. 289. Not really. 289. So is that true? Um, so. Let's just add the 64 down here. 5 plus 4 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus nothing is 2. So yeah, 289 is equal to 289. So by the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, this, in fact, is a right triangle. And therefore, uh, because tangent lines are perpendicular to radii drawn to the point of tangency, uh, we know that, in fact, BC is tangent to circle A, so we are good to go.